Hello, good morning. Let's talk about Kubernetes. And today we're going to deploy Zookeeper and Kafka inside Kubernetes and how to use that. I'm going to show all the things. So first thing you have to see here is my local instance of Kubernetes running on my local machine, of course. And um, in this case, I'm going to show you guys my Docker images. OK, what matters for us is like this one, James Madsy Kafka, latest. And also we have a, like, um, Zookeeper. Okay, so now I'm going to show the Docker files. First, the Zookeeper one, my project. In this case, my Docker file and my startup. In this case, I'm installing Zookeeper inside. Um, I'm creating a container image of Zookeeper. So when I run the image, it creates the container for me. Okay, so here's all the definitions I need. If you get uh, all the Zookeep Mihor version, whatever, that's all described here. You can access this site from the instance I'm using. And here I'm creating, inst configuring the Zookeeper. So when the entry point, right? Startup. The entry point just do the startup of Zookeeper. All the things you should do manually when you configure a software. For example, that's what I do. So in, this, in that case where I have the Zookeeper image, so first thing you're going to do, you're going to apply that, which is my this file here, Zookeeper YAML. I'm going to show the file in a second. In this case, I have a deployment, okay, a kind of a deployment, a kind of a service. I'm exposing the TCP on this port, my Zookeeper app, all right? selector of it and later it's going to be the kafka one i'm going to show first the installation of kafka and right now here also kafka pointer to our that zookeeper that we just installed it's a zookeeper container we just created okay the service we got we connected through the service because of the ip address it's decoupled thing it's a decoupled thing when you use the services inside directly points to a pod because you, you can restart it and you don't know which is going to be the ip address again so for avoiding that you connect to a services this is called decoupled so first thing you're going to do here is just going to apply the zookeeper okay qctl Yellow, hope it's going to be green and fill. Great. Now we're going to do with Kafka. Have I shown? First, we're going to show Kafka project. My Docker file, my startup. I, do, I did the same, those two is the same format. <laughs> So first here is all the startup things when you the manually part when you still do the entry point all the configurations of the files everything here's the way I just did for creating my topics when you when you run that and here's my docker file which points to the version of Kafka etc and I pass out this this erg variables the entry point uses that use that when the runs the Kafka to create a topic, how many partitions, etc. And everything passed here. So in this case you have you can access my URL from that. This is the Kafka version I'm using. Okay. So let's run Kafka. On the fly you have to see here. So by the service, now we, can, we have all the replica sets. So the Kafka, you already have the entry, external entry point. We should access that through its service. And let's get that. Let's get our services. You can see the Kafka has a load balancer. So that's the way you should, you could access 
the ports like you have an external port where you should use that to connect and you have a cluster IP address so that's how you can run containerized images inside the Kubernetes and the way to configure everything etc so with uh, everything you can install on Unix also for example and you can be running that you can put on the cloud like you can virtualize your operational system as we just did in this example thanks for watching bye bye